ikut ibau Kemudian kaya friend dia yo Kyle Neves Kau beri kau tu Very well Warm welcome to everyone Especially to our friends from Leicester um, Yeah, very nice to see you here If you're on the bus Don't forget to take the referee home with you will you? <laughs> Right, I'm privileged to uh, <clears throat> interview and introduce tonight Mr. Jack Walsh. Uh, I thought that's got a very warm, is it, you know, sort of very warm Osprey's welcome. I'm delighted to welcome Mr. Jack Walsh. Well, that sounds a bit more like it. It's nice to have two people from each side of the Tasmania. For once talking civilly to each other. So there we are. Uh, they tell me that, uh, well, I worked it out myself actually, you actually dual qualified. Because you could not only play for Australia, but you could play for the United States as well. Yeah, it is correct. I mean, if I qualified, it would have been helpful, but. <laughs> I, I believe that you were actually born in Florida. Yeah? yeah? There we are. So. Went from Florida to Australia, so I can see why you ended up in Swansea, mainly uh, <laughs> the similarities between Bondi Beach and Swansea Beach are incredible, not least the temperatures. So there we are. And while you were, while you were there in Oz, uh, I believe that you started with um, the Waratahs, yeah? Yeah, started the Waratahs. Uh, Played rugby league growing up, to be honest, um, and then started the Waratahs for a year or so before obviously coming over Northern Hemisphere. Um, then did two years at Exeter. It's obviously quite a good place to play a trade and learn about, I guess, the game of 15s. Um, and then this year I've obviously ended up in Swansea and been enjoying my time ever since. Absolutely. I believe that you played sevens as well, didn't you, for, was it for Australia? Or? Yeah, a little bit of sevens to the age grade stuff, but I don't think I'm fit enough for that, so it was 15s. And your background is actually in league, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I played a lot of league growing up. Obviously, Boothy's worked with a lot, a lot of, I guess, sort of league background players, George Ford at Bath and those sort of things. So yeah. I guess there's a fair few similarities coming through there. And I believe there was a particular league player that uh, you were quite fond of. Was it Ben Thurston? Am I right? Well, that'd be two of them. Benji Marshall and Jonathan Thurston, but yeah. John Thurston, yeah. sorry, yeah. 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 Definitely a bit of a local game. hero. Yeah, yeah. Model Graham going up those two as much as possible when I was younger. Yeah. But I think I can um, say for everybody here that uh, I thought I think you'd played a wonderful game tonight. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, every time we play the Tigers, i got to say it's it's a good occasion. We've been up there with a wonderful welcome. And I'd like to say that you're having the same down here. So, uh, so uh, tell me now, why the switch from league to union? Is it because it pays more? <laughs> it used to pay, pay more before union was professional, pal. But there we are. No, no, I think the, the school I ended up going to, senior school, was a, a union dominant school. So started through there, and then I guess union, I guess away from the actual game itself, provides so many good opportunities. Like this one here, yeah. league, you're stuck in Australia, really, unless you want to go Super League up north, which is a bit too cold for me. I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you decided for the warm or the Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you, um, what to think has been your most significant um, rugby moment? Apart from being interviewed by me, of course. But, um, that goes out, say. Um, I think everyone remembers their first games, and obviously had a pretty memorable first game for Ospreys here at the start of the year, and against Scarlet, so that's a big one. Um, it was yeah, down there, wasn't it? Down, down, yeah, it was down there. Down there. Didn't you level the game uh, with the last kick of the game, almost? Am I right, yeah? Yeah, it was yeah. 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 quite a memorable, memorable game. Yeah, well it would be, because I mean, there's a thing about playing the Scarlet, isn't there? It's not just in them or drawing with them, it's eating them or drawing with them when they think they're going to win. <laughs> okay, that gives another sort of dimension to it. Isn't it? Right, have you really got... Uh... Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I now I understand that... Uh, well, well what, if you were the rugby player, what would you have become? 
I would have loved to be a surfer, there's no doubt about that. Um, didn't quite have the talent for it. Uh, so, yeah, instead of the warm beaches now on the Swansea. Is that a the surfer beaches. now on, on the. Yeah, yeah, we've got Town Gay Head, which is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So, you tell me, not going to train yet. But, <laughs> but yeah, so, you're a surfer on the waves, not on the computer then? Eh? No, 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 not to be a surfer on the computer. And the last question, the last question, I ask everybody this. Generally speaking, um, I get the same answer. <laughs> Who is the worst roommate in your... Oh no, it's two questions. Who is the worst roommate in your space? I haven't had a whole lot of experience, but so far, uh, Max Nagy was a bit of a pain in the ass in two weeks. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's one for sure. Oh, well, that's quite the relief, actually, because usually everybody comes up here and says Nicky Smith. <laughs> but uh, there we are. And one more question. In your opinion... In your opinion, who's the sna snappiest dresser, dresser in the squad? That is a good question. Um, definitely not Max Nagy again. Um, <laughs> I would have to say one of the Southern Hemisphere boys would be going down between eight and myself, to be honest. Mark, oh, uh, Marky Rose is a little bit too old for it, but so uh, good Mary. He's a good surname, though, isn't he? Collins, yeah, right, there we are. <laughs> My surname, in case you don't know. Right. Well, thank you for coming over. It's lovely to see you. And we wish you all the best for the rest of your time with us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks all for coming out. Um, we really feel on the field. And thanks for Lester Tiger, guys. Thanks for coming out and making a good atmosphere. Appreciate it. <laughs>
Um, I don't know, I don't know. It's too bad, right, brothers, and you're making funny. They barbers like Vinny. I mean, and then... Uh, um, something different, isn't it? Something stand out, something catch your commentator's eyes, maybe get a few more comments on your name. So. Is that what it is there? Yeah. yeah. And I must admit, she's got shoes. When I've been to New Zealand twice, more the TV sites, I'll never have shoes. No, oh, I don't need them down there, do you? Do you? <laughs> Jaffa. Yeah. yeah, he's wearing the Jaffa. So what has been the funniest thing you've heard when you were in the scrum? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, because we can block the challenges. <laughs> I don't know, Brad, Brad, Davies, uh, Brad Davis is pretty funny to um, listen to, um, he says a few rogue stuff, I won't repeat, you know, but yeah, it's probably, probably some chat that he's throwing, or, um, yeah, one, one time the boys were saying, uh, throwing some chat across and about uh, the boys being shagged and stuff, and then uh, Brad, Brad goes up, shut up boys, the, the uh, missus is listening on, on the TV, so shut up. Uh, <laughs> So probably the next question, who's the biggest prankster in the locker room? Oh, not many pranks going around to be honest. Maybe Luke Scully? Luke Scully, uh, yeah, yeah, he's a bit of a prankster to be honest, and he likes to get around with his, uh, so it's quite funny. And uh, Percy, who's been your hero or favourite player when you were young or played against since? Oh, uh, Percy, 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 Percy. Yeah. I didn't watch too much rugby growing up, to be honest, but when I was uh, watching... Are you really Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big, big, big um, no, maybe Robbie Suriano or Jerome Campbell, those boys, um, I just like their, their physicality and they just looked everything on the pitch every time they, they played. And, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. 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 Yeah. The guys, the guys are on female yeah. officers. Yeah. The second person said that, no oh, it's, it's ridiculous, you, you seriously, it's like, he spends more time kicking than he breaks in the scrums. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got grey hair. He, he is a 10 in a frock's body. <laughs> That's a fortune, I think. Oh, he's going to be moved, I know. So, um, so next week, big game. Quite a, there's quite a few people going out nice. to watch you. I hope it's warmer here than uh, there than what it was here tonight. Yeah, we actually checked the uh, weather on the way. I thought it was going to be warmer, but Jack corrected me. It's actually just as cold out there. Oh, I see uh, it, yeah. And, and yeah. we're playing at 9 o'clock at night, so... Uh, yeah, Kathy, Kathy, yeah. we've got to pack a big coat. Yeah. We need to be out there, so pack, pack your warms. Yeah, well, there's a few of us for you that are going and a few at the back. So, uh, nice, hopefully, nice. we'll see you there. Yeah, nice. And uh, just wish all the lads all the best. And lucky tonight, to be honest, because that dress sometimes only found one arm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's tough, but can't blame the, at the end of the day, you can't blame the ref, but yeah, it is, it is tough. We can't. We can't. Yeah. No, thanks very much. Thank you both for coming over, and I'll check you guys.